everybody, welcome to the Wild Dog Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be travel the parks with us. So today we are gonna be traveling to Yellowstone and we are bringing you guys along with us. Now it is summer, which means we are very relaxed. We spent the morning in the pool, hence why I look like this and you're not used to seeing that. Sorry, this is real life, you guys. Um, and we come inside after the pool and we have lunch separately. If you need to know more about that, you can see more about that up here, about homeschooling and only. Um, so Emily normally watches a video during lunch. So she's gonna be eating lunch and watching a Yellowstone video that is within in the curriculum and then we will dive straight into traveling to Yellowstone so I just wanted to let you guys know in case you haven't seen it there's a look inside traveling the parks but there are two different checklists there's one that has five days and it gives you the specifics to do each day for five days and then the other one which is the one that we are using this summer is just the checklist that lists everything that needs to be done for each national park and the reason we're using that one is we just have all of our traveling the park stuff in a basket and when we get ready to do school time whether that is in the morning in the afternoon whether it's on a monday or a sunday we just pull that basket out put it on the table and we slowly work through whatever the next park is again today is going to be yellowstone so i've written that at the top and then we just check off what we do this way, whether a park takes us one day or 10 days, there's no guilt, there's no pressure, we're just slowly chipping it away, and when we've completed all of the check marks, we're done, and we can move on to another park. It makes it perfect for the summers, because we can be as relaxed as we want, we can go as fast or as slow as we want, so it has made it very enjoyable thus far. We've already done Yosemite, and now we're jumping into Yellowstone, which is Emily's favorite national park. So now we are going to go ahead and get started with our day at Yellowstone. We'll do the parks and numbers later. I'll go ahead and start reading and you can draw Yellowstone, all right? Okay. All right, so Yellowstone is weird, like really, really weird. It's filled with geysers that spew streams of hissing water into the air. These large craters look like blowholes of humongous whales and they're everywhere. Also, watch out for rainbow colored hot springs that could, be boi that could boil a potato. Not bizarre enough, be careful of cracks in the ground that belch steam. Standing next to one of these steam vents is like burping in, is like bumping into a burping dragon. Sure, you'll also find pretty waterfalls and fields of blooming wildflowers. The park is so big that many people drive through to see every inch of beautiful landscape. But this isn't your grandma's park, unless your grandma likes blasts of molten air and giant puddles of bubbling mud soup. Now what, from what you know, because you already know a little bit about Yellowstone, what is Yellowstone? most popular for? Um, Yellowstone is most popular for um, a giant volcano. Well, it is a giant volcano, but what is the thing that everybody goes to Yellowstone for? What is the thing you want to go to Yellowstone to see? To see Old Faithful. Which is the largest what? It's what? like the, the largest and the most popular... Um, do you know what the word is that we just talked about where it comes up? What do we call that? Steam? No, it's steam, but what do we call the thing that it makes? A You know where you live. Yeah. All right. And then Yellowstone is number 58. So let's find number 58. Can I do it? Yeah. So. So 58 and it's a yellow. Okay. 58 and it's a yellow. 58. Okay. So now try to show me where that would be on your map. Um, it's right here, right? Yep. It would be right there. Put your dot. Put your dot for Yellowstone. All right, now map it. How are you going to get there? I'm going to get here from there. Okay, go ahead. You know, no I'm not. I'm going to get from under. 
You're gonna go in the ocean? Oh wait. <laughs> yeah, that would be silly. There, I'm gonna cross the world. Okay, not the world, the United States. Okay. All right, so you need to know the weather, right? Yep. So let's just look up Yellowstone what? National Park weather. Okay, what is the weather like today? So today it's cloudy. Okay. And what's the temperature? Temperature on here is 57. 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and then if we click Celsius, how many degrees Celsius is it? 14. 14. So write 14. Very good. Okay, so your parks and numbers, the average covered square miles is up here. So let's write that. Which is for 3,000. Got it. 460. Very good. Okay. How many, what's the number of grizzly bears? The number of grizzly bears? Um, do I have to put the dash? Yeah, because that means 674 to 839. So it's somewhere in between those numbers. Okay. All right, so now we have to figure out our traveling expenses, right? Yep. Okay, so let's go into the map, and we're going to search Yellowstone National Park, okay? And we're going to get directions from there, from our house to there. We're going to make sure we don't show our address. Okay, so how many miles is it from our house to Yellowstone? One day. No, nope, how many miles, okay. not how, how much time? Um, 2,272. Okay, so let's write that for miles to the park. Okay. Now, how many days are we going to need to travel? How many days is it going to take us to do? One day and 11 hours. Okay, so are we going to drive straight there, do you think? Do you think you can drive for that many hours straight? No. So how much time do you think you're going to need minimum? Mm, this is kind of hard. Um, well, you're probably going to need how many, how many sleeps do you think you're going to need to pull over and sleep for? One day. Yeah, so we could probably just say two days. You can probably just pull over in the middle to sleep for a few hours, seven to eight hours. So probably at least two days to get there. Two days and 11 hours. No, just two days. Okay. You don't have to write days. It's already part of the thing okay. down there. Got it. You just needed to write two. Okay, so two days. All right, now we have to figure out the cost to get to the park, right? Yep. And that's where this comes in handy. So first you have to decide what vehicle you're going to rent to drive. Are you going to rent a compact car? Which is a small one. Which is a very small car. A mid-size car, a minivan, an SUV like what mommy drives, or an RV. Well, these two are out because that's 100 and then that's 200. Okay. So I'm going to go with the mid-size car. Okay, you think you can fit all your stuff in a mid-size car? Yeah, we could all fit. Okay, so it's how many dollars a day? $40. Okay, so $40 a day. And but how many days do you need it? It's going to be $80. Okay, so $80 is just, so put 80 because that's just to rent the car. Dad, I have to go to the bathroom. Michael squirmed in the back seat. He we'll be at our camp. To go to his bathroom. I know. We'll be at our campground in just half an hour, said Dad. We're in Yellowstone National Park now. He's just nervous, said Michael's sister. He thinks a bear is going to eat him. She growled at Michael and made her fingers look like claws. Stop it, Emily, said Mom. Nobody is getting eaten by anything. Michael was very excited about the trip, but Emily was right. He was nervous. He had just read a book about grizzly bears. He knew how big they could get. He also knew that a hungry grizzly bear would eat just about anything, maybe even a boy. 
I am kind of scared of bears, admitted Michael. Don't worry, Dad told him. We'll show you how to count a bear's toes and never get close enough to be scared. Here's our campsite. Let's set up the tent. Then we can go for a walk, and I'll show you what I mean, Dad said. Michael was awfully worried about grizzly bear toes, but tried not to show it. Let's hurry, said Emily. I want to see some animals. Once the tent was up, the whole family went for a hike, and Emily started to complain before they even left the campground. I haven't seen any animals yet. Maybe there aren't any here. There are definitely animals here, said Dad. We're going to learn about them from their scat. Like a raccoon. Mm-hmm. Scat, said Michael. What's scat? Scat is the word hikers and tra trackers use for animal poop, Mom said. The big flat thing here is bison poop. People call these buffalo chips. Ew, that is not like any potato chip. <laughs> animal profile for Yellowstone is the bison. Bisons are a symbolic animal of the Great Plains and often mistakenly called buffaloes. They are formidable beasts and the heaviest land animals in the North America. Bison stand some five to six and a half foot tall at the shoulder and can tip the scales at over a ton. Their scientific name is, are you ready for it? It's super fancy. What is it? Bison bison. <laughs> they are a bison. That's their scientific name, bison bison. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Their predators are wolves, mountain lions, and bears. And then their prey are none because they are herbivores and they only feed on grasses and sedges. That's just weird. That's their name. Their scientific name is bison bison. I know. They are a bison. I know. <laughs> okay, so finish writing that and then write bison bison for their scientific name. And then you can illustrate your bison and its habitat. And you can illustrate its predators, or you can draw some grass since they don't have some. 